today we got ourselves a 2012 Dodge Challenger. Came in for a misfire. It is running rough and after checking codes, it shows cylinder to number two misfire. We already swapped out coils from both sides and the misfire still is at cylinder number two. Now I know that these engines are known to have the rock arms fall off due to bearing failure. I'm gonna start by removing the top end to see if the issue is at the rocker arms. And if it is, replace and repair. I already started by removing the intake bolts and part of the intake. Let's start by taking a look inside the intake ports. Uh, here on cylinder two, both valves look to be in the resting position and fuel and oil present. I am replacing the PC valve as well. And well, with the fuel sitting at the valves, more than likely, they aren't opening, meaning it has rocker arm failure. So I'm gonna start by removing the valve covers and see what's going on inside. Here with the valve cover off you can see that there's a rock arm that's missing there here's a on the other side that lobe there you can barely see it but the lobe is actually damaged and there's another rock arm that's missing over here you can see pieces of metal in there from the the rock arms so let's get a magnet and fish them out So by here I already took off all the pieces that were down there with the magnet. I'm just here closer, a closer up view of the damage that has been done with the lobes. We're going to replace the camshaft. So we'll start by ordering that and ordering the whole set of rock arms and lifters. And that way we can replace on this side. All right, it's been about a week. Or the camshaft, the rocker arms and lifters for one side, and the most important part is the tool to hold it in place. So let's start replacing it.
pretty much from start to finish. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.